My name is Chris Rosentreger, and I'm currently a student at Temple University studying management information systems. When I applied to Temple, I knew I wanted to go here because of the atmosphere, the opportunity right down the block, and how well known their business school was. Now, I applied for finance, and the more I thought about it, the less I was sure why I picked that major. For a short period of time, I was really considering switching to computer science, as I have a very big interest and uh, knowledge about computers, and I felt that I could capitalize on that. But at the same time, I really wanted to stick with business, because that was also an interest of mine. I attended a brief seminar at the business school that talked about the management information systems major. And to me, it seemed like the perfect combination of business and something like computer science. So within a week, I did the paperwork, talked to the person in charge of MIS, and immediately made the change. And I'm extremely happy that I did so. I feel that with this major, I can capitalize on my interests and my strengths. Before college, I went to North Pocono High School for four years, where I participated in a few sports, a few extracurriculars. But the main thing that stands out about my time at North Pocono was my involvement with the mock trial team. There, I learned how to work in a team as efficiently as possible. I learned how to improve my public speaking and also my writing skills in order to more adequately convey the point that I wanted to get across with the message. Beyond my extracurriculars with the school, I was employed at the local McDonald's for a few years, a grocery store, and mainly, and still employed at, a summer job at a vacation community. There I worked one summer on the recreational staff and two summers with food and beverage, working concessions, catering events, and so forth. Among all of the jobs, more specifically Eagle Lake, I really learned how to handle problems. I learned how to, even if the customer was wrong from a business standpoint or from my standpoint, how to make it seem like they were right, cater to their needs, and turn them away with a smile on their face, which I feel will greatly help me in the business world one day. Thus far, I feel that the biggest accomplishment in my life was, again, rooted from my success on the mock trial team in high school. By my senior year, I had become captain of the mock trial team, which was a very big deal to me. When I entered the team as a sophomore in high school, I, I didn't have a lot of friends. I was very reclusive, and I didn't put myself out there as much as I could have. Uh, I feel this is, might have been because I was a new student entering freshman year, and uh, it was really just a shot in the dark joining the mock trial team. I didn't think it would really evolve into anything, but it was just the opposite, really. I, you know, like I said before, I really learned how to work within a team efficiently. I learned how to, how to really improve myself as well, how to improve my public speaking, the way I worded things, how to make the points I was trying to make as clear and concise as possible. As far as working within a team went, I really learned how to motivate people and help them reach their own goals, you know, through, through my skills and my assets. For example, if another student was really struggling on sounding in character as a witness, you know, I would, I would try and sit them down and read it to them back as I would and show them the certain the words that I would phrase differently, the, the hits of intonation and the diction I would apply on certain words and not on others. And I really felt that, that my participation in the team was making a difference in other students' participation. It was making them more interested, and that was very rewarding for me. So to sum it all up again, I, I feel that, that the growth that I had on the mock trial team really has changed me as a person and is without a doubt the biggest accomplishment in my life so far. In this human resource management class so far we've covered a very wide range of topics. Including on that list are the structure of an organization, the culture of an organization, 
the importance of communication along with different leadership styles. But what I think has been the most impactful on my future and my current perspective is the importance of communication when working in a team or for any organization. By that I mean I never considered how much emotion and context could be stripped away from a message if it's sent over email or text message. I never really critically considered how personal a regular face-to-face -face conversation is. And the emphasis on communication that we focused on isn't just the way that I address others, it's how others address me. It's to rec it teaches me how to recognize different body language that people are sending at me and also to be more self-aware of my body language that I'm sending to other people. Now we learned about leadership styles as well. I feel without proper communication, no matter how good my work is, I could never advance if people didn't understand my principles and my values and what I stood for. Without communication, or proper communication, efficient communication, I, don't fe I feel like it'd be very easy for people to not really be sure who I am, what I believe in, what I stand for, and the type of worker I am. And that's why, going forward, I plan to make sure that everybody knows who I am, what I stand for, through pro proper communication. I want to do everything possible to be a reason that the environment that I'm working in is resonant and the reason that my relationships are resonant and efficient. With that, I think it paves a very easy road to become a leaguer one day and keep advancing. What, with being a leaguer, there are many things to consider. There's the fear of micromanagement, how that can negatively affect the people that are working underneath you, how that could demotivate them and really just diminish their drive and overall sense of care for what they're doing. And I feel that that's very important, motivation, drive, and interest. This class has taught me a lot, and I really feel that the things that I've been considering and I've been learning from this class will really help me to become a better businessman in the future and a greater asset to this company.